here today above Westwood Lake in Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. Was hoping for some fog today. Uh, there is a bit around, but at the moment it's not looking too foggy. So I'm going to turn my attention to uh, the stream that flows into Westwood Lake here uh, in keeping with the still in the stream uh, theme. And it's a lovely little stream that dries up in the summer, but we've had uh, some really good uh, nights of rain here in the last little while. So um, hopeful, hopeful that we've got some enough flow in the creek to to make it interesting. Going to do some long exposures and uh, also look for for mushrooms. So that's uh, that's the goal for today. So as I head up into the forest, I want to introduce the focus of this vlog. I've been working on the still in the stream idea for several years, and this vlog is an outgrowth of that. The idea is to find stillness in the busy, hectic stream of life. Sometimes the flow of life can be really intense and we need a backwater moment. Landscape photography has provided that for me. About a year ago, after watching landscape photographers on YouTube, I, I noticed I was getting really attached to this lifestyle, working hard during the week and then taking time on the weekend to process what I would experienced and really feel my agitation come down to to perhaps not stillness, but to a much more manageable level. So I've decided to explore this experience and, uh, and add to the culture of landscape photography. So I've come a fair ways up the creek, um, gained some height and there was a low area here. I thought there might be some uh, pools. There are some pools here under the, under the trees. But everything's pretty junky looking. Lots of uh, lots of dead wood and stuff that's fallen into the creek. Um, it's nice, but not nice enough for me to set up and, and start taking photos here. So I'm going to head back down uh, the trail. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. This is a big chunk of rock sticking up out of the forest. So definitely going to be a place to come and have a look sometime when it's not quite so slippery. Yeah, look at that. That is cool. Definitely want to get up there at some point. <laughs> not today. Uh, that could be a, a trip in and of itself. Today I'm going to stick to my plan to get some, not necessarily waterfalls, but there's some nice um, cascades on the creek lower down. So that is going to be my goal. I found this lovely spot in the creek and came down, set up my tripod, took a number of shots, uh, some of which I was pretty pleased with, so I'll put them up here for you to have a look. So I've just been down at the creek here, um, taking some long exposures, and uh, I thought, wow, there's a lot of mushrooms around here. So I've been looking along this uh, hillside, and there's some coral uh, mushrooms, a number of mushrooms I don't uh, know the names of, and I'm seeing just a few chanterelles right here as well. So even though this particular piece of forest is uh, harvested for chanterelles by, I don't think it's a stretch to say hundreds of people. Nevertheless, there's still a few here, so I'll see if I can get a video of them here. One there, and another little one coming up over there. So this just shows how 
prolific these woods really are. And I'm looking, I can see little dotted red mushrooms. For a macro photographer, this is, you know, <laughs> an amazing place. There's a, a giant fir tree here. Uh, I thought there, there might be some mushrooms at the base of that. There don't actually seem to be. It may be too early in the year and there may be pine mushrooms there later. But what an amazing place to be still in the stream. So I came up out of the creek uh, and I've been photographing mushrooms uh, for about the last half hour. The mist keeps rolling in and out of the trees here and when it's thicker it gives a really nice background to the the mushroom shots. Um, I'm, I've been looking along this particular log for uh, Mycena. They're uh, here. They're um, still not super tall and I've been looking for a particular one that I'm very fond of. It's got that kind of translucent top to it. Um, and I might find one yet today. Uh, what I am seeing is a bunch of these orange mushrooms, which I don't actually know what they are, but they're growing on logs all over the place here. And I've got uh, a scene set up here. Uh, I've just been kind of waiting for the uh, mist to come back, which it is starting to filter in a little bit here. So I'll show you the shot that I have set up here. Um, I'm using the Voigtlander 35 millimeter on the Sony a7R2 and I have it set at f5 and the shutter speed is a quarter of a second. So um, I'm going to switch the camera around here. There's the log and as we come down here you can see those mushrooms there on the back of the camera. Looks pretty dark but I really like this, the light and then the mist comes in through here, focusing on the mushrooms, two second timer and bracketed. So the nice thing about the Sony camera is you get that automatic uh, bracketing, which brings out that dynamic range. Now you can see, I don't know if this camera will show it or not, but these are the little myceliums that I'm looking to find on these logs. Whenever I sit on a log, <laughs> I always think of Nesmuk. He uh, was a man who had asthma, <laughs> like I do. He went to the forest for relief, and he talked about uh, his favorite activity being sitting on a log, composing himself. and. Uh, that's kind of what I've been doing today, sitting on a log in the forest, in the mist, just enjoying the silence after taking photos of all these mushrooms. I'm just going to turn the camera around here so you can see the mist. It's really, uh, really quite beautiful. privilege to be able to come to places like this, to sit unencumbered and compose ourselves. I think that's why most people come to these places. And a lot of people have been going by here today. It's Sunday. People are exercising and uh, doing their thing. Connecting with nature, and in the end of the day, that's kind of what it's all about. Here's some folks coming on their bikes.
there we have it. First shooting of video for Still in the Streams. Still in the Streams. I guess I am in a few different streams. And uh, so are all these people who are out here and enjoying the wilderness. Such that it is. Bye for now.